Our next presenter is Wole Talabi. Wole is an engineer, editor, and writer. A two-time NOMO nominee, and like me, a Kane Prize nominee, his collection, Incomplete Solutions, was published in 2019. His yet untitled novel will be published next year in 2023. Wale also manages the ASFS database of published fiction. Wale, the floor is yours. Thank you, Chikodili. I've always loved short stories. In the best of them, you can find so much for the mind to ponder and for the heart to feel in the space of just a few thousand words. A lot of our African storytelling traditions are filled with short tales of myth, adventure, legend, and they're embedded in the very fabric of our cultures, as varied as they are. That's something that continues to this day as writers put new, new spins on old stories, make up new ones to contextualize our current hopes and fears, and most of all, I hope, entertain. From classics like the Heinemann Book of Contemporary African Short Stories to Ivor Hartman's Afro-SF Anthology, Omenana, Short Story Day Africa, Dominion, the African Futurism Anthology, and even the forthcoming Africa Reserve. There is and has always been wonderful African speculative fiction, and the last two years have been no exception. So it should be no surprise that the competition for this year's Domo Award for short stories was intense, with a large range of excellent work. I should know. I'm one of the nominees, and I recommended half of the others in my annual roundup of African short fiction. There are eight stories in total on shortlist. They are The Brother by Makena and Jerica published in Professor Charlatan Bardot's travel anthology to the most fictional haunted buildings in the weird, wild world, edited by Eric J. Gunnard. Shelter by Mbozi Hambre, from short story day Africa's Disruption, new short fiction from Africa. Oto Arena by Ogenechoe Donald Ekbeki, first published in Galaxy's Edge in November 2021. Masquerade Season by Kwemi Aguda, published by Tor.com. And This Is How to Stay Alive by Shingai Injeri Kagunda in Fantasy Magazine. Dream Ports by Tlotlo Samashe in Apex Magazine. The Many Lives of Anabiku by Tobio Gundiran in Beneath Ceaseless Skies, Epi issue 309. And last but hopefully not least, An Arc of Electric Skin by yours truly published in Asimov Science Fiction Magazine, September last year. And the winner is Femi Aguda for Masquerade Season. Congratulations, Femi. We've known each other for over a decade now, and I've been recommending your groundbreaking work year after year. So I'm not only delighted to lose to you, but also to be the one to announce it to the world. Congratulations, and very well deserved. Thank you, Wally, and I'm pleased that we've been writing together for so many years. I'm very happy to be here accepting this prize. Um, it's, it's, it hits different, it's special to me, especially because it's, you know, speculative fiction, it's African speculative fiction, especially. Um, so to thank everybody who reads my work, who reads speculative fiction. I wrote this story at the Clarion workshop um, and it was an oddly emotional experience, but I felt like I, I learned something about this little boy and his masquerades and something about appreciating the magic that visits you and changes you. And this is something I feel when writing, something I feel in the community of other writers of speculative fiction. So I want to, you know, thank this community and especially thank you to know who um, is recognizing and awarding magic. Thank you. Congratulations again, Bemi. I'm really proud of you. And well done. Bemi will be back to read from her winning story, 